Go. Um, hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Monday Night Call. I'm going to tell you, we are still celebrating uh, because we're just, we're, we're kind of like uh, celebrating the fact that salt was such an amazing success again, and like none of us want to let go of of, uh, you know, the fun and the energy of all being together. So what we're going to do tonight is kind of do, we're going to start with a bit of a recap of SALT, uh, and then we're going to continue that over the next couple weeks so that those of you that couldn't make it can take, get a little bit of a taste of what SALT was all about. And so we were about 85, 85 people participating in SALT, and when we got together Friday night, Friday night was about the mindset of success, the why, the goals, our attitudes, and maybe our beliefs about money. So it was very much uh, the inner work, because I know that to be successful, we have to do inner work and outer work. And then Saturday morning, 87 of us got together, and we pretty much spent most of the day together, and Saturday was about the tools and uh, the systems so that was the outer work. So where we're going to start tonight is how pretty much uh, we launched uh, Saturday morning. And uh, we're going to be uh, discussing today uh, the art, the art of the launch with National Marketing Director Amber Weaver and one of her shining stars, Katie Carr. And so, uh, Amber, it's all yours. Take it away. You are magnificent, both of you. Thank you so much, Terry. And I am so honored to get to be here today just to share this information again. And also, for those of you who have already heard it, I'm going to go a little bit more in-depth um, on the LeapFrog training part. And so if you don't know what that is, no worries. If you heard about that, hopefully... Your first exposure just created some awareness. And tonight, as we recap, it will um, help you to just drill down even deeper into what exactly that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and um, share my screen with you guys. And I'm going to pull up a tool that hopefully all of you are using. And this is just the Mission Driven Model. MissionDrivenModel.info is in my opinion one of the most important websites that we have it is just a tool that can create so much duplication in your juice plus business so what i want us to take a look at tonight is under getting started we are talking all about launching a new rep and i want to encourage you guys if you've never seen this information no matter where you are in your business it may be a great tool for you to even you know, go back to, and in a sense, to relaunch your business no matter where you are. So we're just going to click on getting started, and we're going to start off with a checklist. How many of you guys have just ever felt like, I, I wish I had a checklist? I wish I knew exactly what I was supposed to do with a new rep. Well, this is exactly what we have through the mission-driven uh, model. You know, there's a little bit of danger, though, sometimes with a checklist is we don't want the checklist to become something we're just actually checking off. Let's get through it. You want to spend time um, and go through it slowly with your rep and also to make sure that you are still being yourself within the system. So you get to be you. We just happen to have, you know, a proven system. So the first thing I want us to take a look at, you'll see that there's a lot of blue on here and all of these blue um, words that are underlined, those are clickable links. But there's one link that I was not aware of until Terry brought it to my attention, and it's right up here. It just says getting started. And when you click on this link, it takes you to a video. Julie Herbst has put together a welcome video, and it really is a great thing that your new rep can watch. And what I want to encourage you guys to do is to carve out time with that new rep. You know, maybe you watch it together. If you're not in the same, you know, um, region, you know, same location where you can meet up, maybe you jump on Zoom, maybe you have them watch it, and then you schedule a call to visit, you know, after they've taken a look. It's a 25-minute video. And one of the things I'll share with you, you know, if, if someone were to say to me, hey, 
do you have three hours this week that you can spend, you know, doing X, Y, Z? I would probably say no. But if someone said, would you be willing to just carve out 30 minutes every day this week for us to really launch your business in a solid way? I would be like, yeah, that's a no brainer, 30 minutes a day. And so you guys think about um, just the way that you ask questions and the way that you word things when you're talking to a new rep so that they're not overwhelmed. When you're asking them to carve out, you know, 30 minutes a day or whatever, they can decide, you know, they may not have 30 minutes. They may have an hour. It's their business. But again, you can actually just send them exactly what you want them to do so that they're not having to spend time searching or wondering, what am I supposed to be doing? So really walk hand in hand with them. Okay, so if you have not seen that Getting Started video, definitely check it out. Um, the other thing that I wanna do is I'm just gonna briefly go through this form and then Katie Carr and I are gonna show you how this can really come to life as you begin to work with the team. So they've submitted their application. You're gonna take them to um, their Juice Plus virtual office. All of this is really self-explanatory. Um, get familiar with the website. I wanna show you this though. Click to watch basic how-to videos. I can't tell you how many times, you know, someone needs to call me because they wanna know how to enter a new order. And this video right here shows people how to enter an order. And you guys, it's less than four minutes long. I mean, you can't make a phone call in that short amount of time. So we talk about wanting to be efficient. I just wanna encourage you to start from the get-go, redirecting your reps to the tools. One of the ways that we can actually stunt growth in this business is if we enable our team members. And so in order to avoid that, we want to walk right alongside them, but we want to make sure that we're allowing them the opportunity to grow. Okay, so um, you've seen those, lots of things there, Juice Plus promotions, all of that. And then what are your expectations from this business? What is it that you want? And Holly Morris shared three questions that I thought were really powerful on Friday night. You know, what do you want? Why do you want it? And what are you willing to do to get it? We want to make sure that we have clear expectations and um, that we're managing expectations. If someone says, I want to be a national marketing director next month, you know, I'm going to probably need to, um, to talk to them about that. If they say, I want to be a national marketing director in a year, you know, I would be like, okay, awesome. We know people who have done that. I didn't do that, but I know plenty of people who have. But if they said, I can only work one hour a week on my business, then I, again, need to have a conversation with them about what would be you know, necessary and required for them to meet that goal. So it's not just what do you want, um, what are the expectations, but also what are you willing to do to get it? And then as we all know, communication is just crucial. So communicate on Boxer. I would definitely make sure that they you know, are connected to you. And again, we're gonna share in a second about LeapFrog training. We use Boxer for that. Join the team Facebook group and the customer care Facebook group. Make sure they write down the names of your Facebook pages. Sometimes with Facebook, if people aren't, you know, as Facebook savvy, it can get confusing. Um, I can get confused, like what event, what page? So just write it down. Meet your national marketing director. You guys, if you have a new rep, make that rep feel really important. You know, I can't wait for you to meet my national marketing director. I've already told her so much about you. Let's box her her right now, or let's call her up, or whatever that looks like. Um, everyone wants to really be made to feel special, and this business is such an opportunity for us to do that, to really see people and to um, help connect them and to just really bring them into our culture. So plan to attend the next Juice Plus Live events. That's conference. You want to go ahead and get that event on their calendar. I also like to start to talk to my new reps about how they can afford to get there. So maybe they're setting aside some money every month to be able to get to um, conference and as well as hitting those bonuses um, and those fast track promotions because then they can get the free conference ticket. Make sure that they've added the phone numbers for customer care and support, email, all of that into their contacts. If you guys have not ever been asked that by um, a rep, you did a better job of me than training your team. So I can't tell you how many times people are like, what's the number to Juice Plus? 
And really, you guys, just right then, right there with them, have them plug it into their phone. And then you want to get them moving. So we want to complete the HLP just as soon as possible. Some people may wait until they get their HLP to actually sign up as a rep. You want to uh, plan, attend, and promote events in person, on Facebook, or Zoom. Again, you guys can click on this, and it's going to show you all types of different events. You can see presentations, um, lots of different things. I love how they've shared how to share your story and how to follow up after the event. This is so powerful. You can also, um, once you do that, there uh, we want to help them post on social media. We want to help them do some message blitzing. You may want to plug them into the most popular Juice Plus videos that they can share with others. And I want to show you this in particular because I love the way Mission Driven Model has the videos as well as sample text messages for you to see. This, again, is just, I think, one of the important things when we talk about having a proven system, when you can plug that new rep into this proven system and they can see exactly what to do, it just begins to give them peace of mind. And um, I think you build trust a lot faster than you would if you're not using this. And then, of course, who are the first five people that you're going to share Juice Plus with? Take them to that memory jogger. Now, they may have already had their five. You may be working on 12 households that you're trying to get them, you know, to start to think about. But the memory jogger is a great tool for them to start to really um, begin to create a list of people that come to mind that they want to share Juice Plus with. Now, I want to introduce you to Katie Carr. Katie is a sales coordinator. Um, on my team, and I met Katie um, originally. We actually met twice. I didn't realize that at the time. I'm going to let her share her story, but what I want you to know about Katie is um, she's a wife. She's a mom to two boys. When we met, she was pregnant, you guys. She had every excuse not to do this business. She had every reason. I'm going to wait until the baby's born, but nope, not Katie Carr. This is a woman who is very goal-oriented, she loves goals. She speaks my language. And I believe that she is probably one of the most teachable and coachable um, people that I have ever worked with in this business. And you guys, she is a self-qualified um, sales coordinator, as I mentioned. And what she has just done is she'll bring up a VF and she'll help that VF qualify their business. And then here comes another VF and she helps that VF qualify her business. And so she's duplicated just beautifully. So I want to introduce you to Katie Carr. And um, Katie, would you just share a little bit about your story and about what it was that attracted you to our mission? What made you say yes? Hi, everybody. And thank you, Amber. You, make, you always make me feel really good. And I, I wanted to say this at SALT, but I didn't. I want to say thank you so much for all your support and everything you've taught me, because obviously I wouldn't I've gotten to sales coordinator without you. So um, I just want to say thank you. Okay, so here's, am I, can everybody hear me? Can you hear me okay, Amber? Yes, yes. and Great. you're welcome. <laughs> well, um, so I got here, I was at an event, and that is when I first heard about the products. And um, Amber was speaking at that event, and I immediately ordered Juice Plus that day, which she didn't know about until a couple of days ago. Then I was at another event again. This was two years later. And I, there was, I had this feeling inside of me that was like, people have got to know about Juice Plus. Um, it's lowered my cholesterol. I don't have migraines anymore. Um, it's helped di digestion with different people in my family. Um, I am not suffering from fever blisters. Um, and I just want people to know this. And so at that event that you were talking at, I just was thinking, I want to do what she does. I want people to know about this, how simple it is. And that's when I went straight up to you and said, I want to do this business. Well, you guys, I'm going to um, unshare my screen for a second so we can, so I can kind of see all of you too, as we're talking. But what I want you to notice that she said was that she was at an event. Events are so important in your business. Katie Carr is not frontline to me. She is not my customer and she's not a frontline rep. Okay. I don't believe that there are really like, I just don't see lines the same way, I guess, in our organization. I want to take everyone in. I want to create a culture of, um, you know, trust 
and a culture where everyone has an opportunity to thrive. And so if you are here and you're really building an organization, I want to encourage you to really reach down, build that loyalty with your team and um, make sure that no one's left behind. Okay. Because you know, you, there may be times where people are, are not all in or, you know, they were, and then life happens or whatever. And so if you've made that decision and you're owning your business, then own it. And, um, and make sure that, you know, you're honoring everyone that is a part of your organization. So yes, we were at an event and Katie came up to me and she had, a, um, she, she really knew she wanted to do it, but guess who she had to run it by her husband. Okay. And I love her husband. So I say that very, um, laughingly. Um, but I didn't know him at the time. And so it made sense to me, like, of course, she's going to run this by her husband. This is a big decision, $50, right? And so, um, you know, so here we are. And um, I just said, well, hey, I'm happy to get you any information that you need. And so over the next, what do you think, maybe two weeks, mm -hmm, she would ask questions, okay? In two weeks, she'd ask questions. I'd send info. I worked really hard to try not to just vomit Juice Plus all over her. Um, but I also made sure that we stayed connected. So as you're really recruiting or even um, sharing Juice Plus with people, you always want to ask questions. You want to keep the conversation going. Don't just end it with like, well, let me know if you're interested. You know, ask a question and keep the ball rolling. So Katie, I want you to talk a little bit about um, just thinking through that sheet. We planned an event. We planned a launch. We did a salad in a jar. And then we also really utilized um, social media. So could you tell about that first post that you made and what that felt like and just that experience? Okay, so we wanted to launch my business. I wanted to launch my business on Facebook, but I was not, um, you know, I didn't know much about how to word it and things like that. I didn't want to be salesy. I wanted it to be, you know, personal about my life. So at the time, Mason, our oldest son, was about two. I'm thinking I could be totally off on that, but I think he was about two or three. And um, he woke up from his nap and he really immediately asked for Juice Plus gummies. And so I took a picture of him eating them and then we crafted a message together. Um, and then I posted it on Facebook and then I just sat there waiting on someone to do something. And then we talked about it back and forth. It was fun. <laughs> so you guys have probably been in that spot where it's scary. You've got something you want to post and it's like, Oh, did I word this right? Is it too strong? Is it not strong enough? Everybody needs somebody in their life that they can just kind of do things with, you know, life is less scary when you've got your, your buddy right there with you. And so um, that's what we, we like to do in our team. Notice that she said she asked me before she posted. She didn't just like post something and then say, hey, I hope that was okay. She really wanted to make sure that she was doing it in a way that it was going to be not necessarily right. I don't think there's a right or wrong, but that it was um, going to be, I think, effective and that it was going to make an impact. And she, again, was trusting me to lead the way. And, and to really help her. And so we did, we worked together and I remember just, she was scared. And I remember just thinking and telling her, you know why you're scared because of what's right around the corner, because we're always scared when really big things are about to happen in our life. And so let's just do this. Let's do it together. And she pushed the little post button. And then guess what? People started commenting. They started liking it. And then there went her, um, her list of people that she was going to start to get to share with. Um, and you guys, where did I start to come up with examples? Well, on that checklist. So when you look at the checklist and you click the social media post, there are tons of examples that come up of pictures with what to say. Again, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And if you're here tonight and you're like, I need to make a social media post and you don't know what to post, check there, you know, go get some ideas from other people as well. Um, okay. In addition to those things, I want us to really talk about communication because this has been probably the biggest game changer in Katie's business, as well as what we do in our organization. And I mentioned that Katie is very teachable and she's coachable. 
And so I want to explain what I mean by that as we talk through what we call leapfrog training. And this is not a new concept. Um, Karen Jones is actually who I heard talk about this. But imagine you're on Boxer. And so I'm just going to use um, myself and Katie and then Terry, if we could use you as an example as well. So let's say that I sponsor Katie Carr and she and I are working together. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty like seasoned, if you will. So I can work with Katie. OK, now, if I were not, I would go and get my upline. OK, so it kind of depends on where you are in the business. You know, if you feel like you are, you got it, you're going to go through that checklist, you're rocking it out. But so I'm coaching Katie. And let's just say that Katie, um, you know, she's learning. And what do we know about this? When Katie gets a new rep, Katie's going to duplicate everything she just did. But, you know, your first time to learn something, it's not just like drilled down in you. You know, you had someone kind of telling you what to do. And so Katie goes out and she recruits Terry Luongo. Boom. Okay. So she gets Terry on her team. And instead of Katie just now taking Terry and they're coaching on their own, Katie's going to create a three way boxer chat. And it's going to be between me, Katie, and Terry. And so as Terry asks questions, Katie's going to hear me coach Terry. And, and Katie's going to start to learn how to coach someone, not just how to be coached, but how to coach. Okay. So she's, she's now hearing me and she's starting, you know, as time goes on, what you notice guys is now Katie's answering. Okay. The only time Katie really doesn't answer is if she doesn't know, or if maybe she's just not the first person to answer the chat, but you'll see this in these three way chats. At first it's always, you know, me answering. But as time goes on, then she knows exactly how to answer. And you'll start to hear yourself if you do this right. And that's when you know that you're good. Okay. When you hear a person and you hear yourself in them, you've duplicated. Now, let me say this. We all duplicate good or bad. So be aware of that too, right? Okay. So now let's say that Terry goes out and she gets a new rep. And I'm just looking here. She recruits Jamie. Can oh no, she recruits Kathy. Perfect. Kathy's sitting right there. I'm sorry. And Jamie, it's all good. Okay. I'll come back and get Jamie later. Yeah, we'll come get you in a second, Jamie. Okay. So now you guys, Kat, uh, Terry's going to create a three-way chat with her new rep, Kathy, and with Katie, her sponsor. Remember, I'm still in a chat group with Terry and Katie and myself. So we are all plugged in there, but now they have their three-way chat here. So I'm not in every single chat, but I am connected, not just with my front line, but with that one row down. So do you see why it's called a leapfrog? You're leaping down one, okay? So that's, if you just imagine that and visualize that in your head. This is why duplication of qualifying businesses has happened the way that it has for Katie. This is why the businesses that she's building are so strong. Their customer care, it's some of the best we have in our organization. I mean, she's really duplicating this, but this is the key. That new rep, that Terry Luongo, has to trust the system or it won't work. If Terry's afraid to hear her own voice on Boxer, it won't work. If Terry is scared to death of me, it won't work. If Terry, it works beautifully with Terry, but Terry recruits Kathy and Kathy's scared, it's not, it'll stop right there. Okay. The key is building trust. And how do you build trust? You go back to those questions. What are your expectations? What do you want? Why do you want it? And what are you willing to do? And so once you know their why, you guys, then you can begin to talk them through, you know, I know this is what you said that you wanted. You know, maybe they want to get on a three-way call first, build that rapport, whatever it takes. But I'm telling you, if you can get them to plug in to the Boxer chat groups and really make that work, you will see a huge change in your business. The last thing I want to say is this, Terry, and I know we're running out of time. We asked two questions, and I've been doing this um, – trying to every morning. It's kind of like just a little focus call on Boxer. Some people want an actual phone call. That's fine too. Um, but I asked two questions. 
what did you do in your Juice Plus business yesterday? And what are you planning to do today? And it helps us get laser sharp focused. And this is another way that we use Voxer. When you're in a three-way chat and you've got three people sharing, because when I call the first thing I, that I say, before I ask the question, I'll say, hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that yesterday I reached out. So like, for example, I was like, yesterday I made a list of 30 people that I wanted to invite to an event. I reached out to 10 of them with very personal messages. These were the responses that I received back. Today, I plan to reach out to the other 20. What did you do yesterday and what do you plan to do today? Okay, so they just heard what I'm doing. It keeps me accountable. Now, when they share ideas, because there's two other people in the chat, they're getting different ideas and they're hearing. So if Terry doesn't know what to do, she just heard me say what I do. And then she's gonna hear Katie talk about what she does too. Katie, where'd you go? I lost you. Okay, I see you. Thank you so much for being coachable. I know all of these people are impacted in such an amazing way. And Terry, I hope that was helpful. Oh my gosh, helpful. That was magnificent. You guys, are you starting to get a taste for what happened at SALT? It was so dynamic. Uh, Amber, thank you. Number one, this, you know, I want all of you to go wide, 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 but I also want each and every one of you to go down not just five generations, but 10, 15, 20 generations. And the only way that happens is that we embrace a system. And this mission-driven model, and we've been talking about mission-driven model for years, but how many of us have actually used that Get Starting Checklist? Mm -hmm. Use it, click the tabs, that's what it's there for. This is the tool that will help you build, de duplicate, duplicate, I'm not kidding, this will help you to duplicate. And that duplication, that's the long-term security for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Take this message to heart. And Amber, this training on leapfrogging, I, I can't wait to start. I can't wait to start. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. I want you to have a fabulous evening. Know that we'll be with you next Monday night, continuing this program, this process. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a blessed week. If you have any questions, box her up. <laughs> Thank you.